When apps like Notion in Rome and Obsidian got released, people went crazy. It felt like it was the only thing people were talking about on Twitter. Now, something similar is happening with Tana. Actually, Tana isn't even officially released yet, but after playing with it even for a few minutes, it doesn't feel like a beta product at all because you can already see such a great amount of polish. I've been using it for only a few weeks, but here's my impression and who I think this is for. So what the heck is Tana? Well, I'd say if Rome and Notion had a baby, it would be Tana. It combines some element of outliner apps like Rome and Logseek with database apps like um, Notion, Excel and uh, Airtable. Maybe the closest app I've seen to Tana is Capacities. I haven't made a review of Capacities yet, but also a great note taking app. Anyway, it seems like Tana took the best of both worlds. That's why people were getting super excited about it. And I can say it does live up to the hype. It's awesome. Now, let's actually have a look at what it's like. The interface is similar to most outliner apps like Rome. You have the left sidebar where you can see pinned notes and a calendar, which lets you see your notes by year, week, and a day. Then you have the daily note at the center where you do most of the writing. Having a button for quick add is a nice touch too, since it allows you to capture your thought from any page fast. By the way, in Tana, there is no such thing as a page because everything is a node. So this bullet point is a node and this one too. You can create something like a typical page experience by zooming in on one node. In many note apps, you use double square brackets to create a new page or link to another page and use double round brackets to reference a block. But in Tana, you use the at sign to reference everything. Some people might struggle to get used to it, especially if they're coming from Rome, Logseek and Obsidian. And speaking of Obsidian, Tana has a similar panel management system. You can open different nodes by clicking on the one you want to open while holding command or control. And you can drag them to anywhere you like to rearrange your workspace. I feel like this might be more flexible than Obsidian, if I remember correctly. But this is super useful, so you can see a bunch of notes while writing. And I just noticed that it doesn't have a graph view. I don't really use it much, but if you do, you might have to wait a little bit until they implement it. Now, what makes Tana stand out from the rest of the note-taking apps is super tags. Well, essentially, it's a kind of customizable tag. This is where you can see some aspects of Notion. It's hard to explain, so let me show you how it works. Let's say you want to organize your favorite restaurants in Tana. You can write down some restaurants you love as a new node, then put a tag to it. Let's call it restaurant. Now, if you click on the tag, you see this configure option. This is where you can customize this tag and add some properties like you do in Notion. So let's add a few now. Property type can be different like date, number, URL, email, and so on. Let's add a few. Okay, first, I want to add the location of the restaurant. So create a new field and let's choose dynamic options for now. And I'm going to add a few major locations here in Tokyo, like Harajuku, Shibuya, and Shinjuku. Next, let's add the type of food. Again, I want to use dynamic options and add options for Mexican, Korean, and Indian just for now. Now, your ratings. For that, let's choose number and you can rate each restaurant on a scale of 1 to 10. Finally, let's add a checkbox so you can see if you've been there or not. Okay, now I'm done customizing this super tag, so let's try it out. If I click on the note with the restaurant tag, I can see the properties I just made. Here, you can add a value to each field, so let's fill them in. All right, that's enough. Now, this is where it gets interesting. You can see the tag menu and go to the list of restaurants. And now it will show you all the restaurants you entered in your knowledge base. And just like in Notion, you can use filters and the groups to rearrange them and find the ones you need. Furthermore, Tana offers different views, not just the list view. So you can switch to the table view or the card view. They only have three view options at the moment, but I'm guessing they're going to add more variety in the future. But there's more. It's even possible to open this list from anywhere on Tana. You can just open the command menu by pressing command or control K and choose find notes with restaurant tag. And just like that, you can see the database of the restaurants. 
this live query feature is amazing. I mean, there are other noise apps with query functions like this, but it was always kind of confusing. In comparison, Tana's query is so much more intuitive and easier to do without having to spend hours learning how to do it. With these features, you can probably build most of the things you can build in Notion in Tana. For instance, it's easy to build a decent task management system using super tags. You could simply write down things you need to do and assign the task tag. Then configure the tag so there are fields like status, priority, start date, due date, and so on. Just like before, you can find all the nodes with the task tag and sort them with filter and groups. You can even switch to the card view to recreate a similar experience in Trello. Within just a few minutes, you can build a to-do system custom made for your needs and workflow, which is awesome. So as you can see, there are infinite things you can build in Tana. I can imagine there are going to be like hundreds of Tana tutorials on YouTube about how to build this and that, as well as creators selling Tana templates. So will I be using Tana? I, I don't know, honestly. For a long time, I've been using LogSeq for note taking and uh, sometimes Notion for managing my content ideas. But maybe I can use just Tana now since it's a hybrid tool. I will find out. When it comes to task management though, I don't think I can move to Tana because one, it doesn't have a mobile app, which is important because I want to see my tasks on the go. And two, it doesn't have a sort of calendar mode where I can do time blocking, which is how I manage my schedule. I know some people use Tana for everything, but it's going to be limited for me. Okay, let's summarize. Tana is a fantastic hybrid knowledge management tool. I think it's going to be one of the most popular note apps of all time among apps like Rome and Obsidian, but I don't think it's for everybody. Most people don't need this much customizability and functions, and they'd probably rather stick to a minimal setup with apps like Apple Notes, Google Keep, Evernote, Twos, and Ampu Note. So, I'd say this is going to be overkill for many people and therefore a tool for hobbyists like myself. So personally, I'm very excited to use it a little bit more, but nonetheless, I think you should see it yourself. You can sign up from the link in the description and at the moment, it's still in private beta. So you might have to wait a little bit to use it, but it shouldn't take so long. They have a great importer from various note apps like Rome, Workflowy, LogSeq, and Obsidian. So if you want to move your notes to Tana, it shouldn't be so difficult. All right, thank you so much for watching and uh, I will see you in the next video. Bye.